and welcome to episode 232 of the Craft House Magic Podcast. My name's Ellie and I'm coming to you from Norwich in Norfolk in the UK and today is the 1st of December so welcome everybody. I hope you've all had a lovely week since the last time I've spoken to you. Actually I'll stop you there. <laughs> because I haven't podcasted for a couple of weeks actually so I had two weeks off because we went away for a week to Centre Parks and then the week before that I was just swamped with stuff that I needed to post out and everything before the holiday so I thought right I'm not going to do a podcast that week and I'll leave everything till today so today the 1st of December I've also got plans to do vlogmas so I've been recording all day and that video will be up tomorrow so day one of vlogmas will be actually be up on day two so watch out for that. Lots of pictures of Jensen um, and I have a few Christmas outfits, some of which I've purchased for him I'm afraid rather than made, um, but very cute ones to show you. So we have some knitting and I'm going to go through some of the project bags that I've got on the go at the moment um, to show you what I've got on the needles. I have a gadget stroke <laughs> which I'm very excited about. Somebody showed me one of theirs and I had to buy it myself. So I haven't tried it just yet, but I'll show you what I've got in a little bit. And then I've got some information on my shop update. I've got three new Christmas colourways going into the shop this Friday at 7pm and a few other ex things that I'm excited about that I've purchased from my wholesaler um, that I'm actually excited about having some for myself. So I'll show you those and last of all I'll have Jensen at the end of the podcast and it's a little clip of him in something actually I have shown on the podcast not that long ago but it's what he had on today so I thought I'd just show you what he's got on um, and also he looks very cute in his new jeans so he's, he'll be at the end <laughs> So we have a couple of make-alongs going on in the Ravelry group. I have the Craft 20 a Day and the Christmas Craft along both in the Ravelry group and on Instagram. Details of those are in the description bar, a bar down below if you haven't heard of them before but I'm not going to go through them every week otherwise it gets a bit boring. So let's get on with the knitting shall we? So I've been doing lots of knitting for making samples for my new patterns. So my two new patterns that are out today are the Soundwave cowl which I've been working on a sample of now which I'll show you I've finished and also my Jolly Jingle socks which I shall also show you in a minute. So this is the sample that I finished for today and this is the Soundwave cowl. So it is a cowl pattern. There are two lengths so this is the small one single wrap length and then there's a double wrap length as well with all the calculations for either a single colour of yarn like this or you can have mini skeins as well so that it's been calculated to work out um, what you can get out of mini skeins and not only is it for four ply fingering weight yarn but I've also done the calculations for DK as well so this is a fingering weight version for a single wrap one and it looks like this so this is just one colour of yarn. It's quite a loose cowl so it's not really really tight but actually if you did a couple of less repeats if you wanted it to be a bit, little bit tighter um, then you could do that. So I've done 10 repeats of the pattern for a single skein of yarn but actually if you did eight that would be um, much tighter if you wanted a tighter cowl but I really like a, quite a loose cowl so that if I do get hot I can just pull it away from my neck like this. So that is what the single wrap fingering white one looks like and I have a couple of others which I'll show you quickly again um, as the pattern's out today. I did this one, this is the first one I did and actually I was planning on doing several different patterns. Um, that's So this is the sound wave version and then I've got several other patterns, this one and this one and this one as well. So um, this one I have made modifications to in the final pattern but I have got all these other patterns uh, as bonus sort of patterns in, in the final draft of the pattern rather than just having the sound wave pattern because a couple of people asked me oh I'd love to do all those other patterns so I'm just going to include them in the pattern. They haven't been test knitted as well as the other patterns but the numbers are sort of the same if that makes sense so it sh they should be absolutely fine. Um, so that is the my favourite of the patterns that I decided to do the whole cowl in but then 
as people have requested, I will include the other ones as well. So this is a double wrap cowl, but this is my original version where I did it slightly wider. So I've taken off some of the width to make the actual cowl longer in the same amount of minis, if that makes sense. So it does come out slightly longer than this version if you knit the double wrap cowl. It does mean, but because you're knitting in the round to make this in a tube, that you can actually use up scraps of leftover yarn. I've got a plan actually to sort of deviate from the pattern a little bit in that I'm going to do the DK version but I'm going to hold two strands of yarn together so I'll do one strand of either undyed or a grey yarn I think with other yarns that I've got left over from other projects so that it sort of blends in a bit like I did my corner to corner crochet blanket where I hold the two double because this is a tubular cowl you can actually just tie the ends on the inside and knot them so you don't really need a magic knot ball or anything it can just be knotted on the inside and then when you've finished you can graft the ends together and uh, today I've actually released two tutorials for the advent cowl for the Soundwave advent cowl one for the cast on which I've suggested you use Judy's magic cast on and then also for the grafting um, a little tutorial on how to do the kitchen a stitch and how to get everything sort of right and not be too stressful it's actually a lot less stressful than you think doing the kitchen a stitch closure um, you can actually do a provisional cast on if you want to but because of the way I've written the pattern with slip stitches on the first line it does make it a lot easier if you do use the Judy's magic cast on that I've done a tutorial for I will leave links to those tutorials in the description bar down below if you haven't seen them already I have got a version that I've knitted out of some of the advent yarns for this year in the DK weight yarn. So I'm going to flip the screen to black and white so you can't see the colours and um, just to show you the weight of this one. Um, I did show this on last week's podcast though to be honest so you have seen it before but that is the DK weight yarn so it's a much thicker yarn um, and that's the 10 repeats as well like the other one but if you wanted to if you hadn't got quite enough minis or you had some minis in there that you think well I don't think that they're something that I'll wear next to my clothes so you could omit some if you wanted to um, but that one is the single wrap cowl as well as the first one I showed you so that is the pattern or one of the patterns that's coming out today but we've also got the sock pattern the jolly jingle sock pattern that's coming out today as well again I did show you this last week but it's a nice simple sock pattern that's written both for fingering and DK weight yarn and you've got this pattern at the top and then quite a plain foot so you can have um, quite a concentrate a few hours <laughs> then you can have a little tipple and not have to concentrate too much on the rest of the foot this is actually not real cable it's a faux cable and I've got a tutorial for that now up on YouTube that shows you how to do that as well if you're a little bit nervous about trying sort of a new stitch the tutorial just shows you how easy it is it's super super easy and you don't need a cable needle or anything so that pattern um, is now up on both my website and on Ravelry the same as the Soundwave cowl. I will leave links in the description bar down below to the yarns that I've just showed you um, so that you can find them if you want them but I actually talk about them on the tutorials as well so there you go. Ellie from the future just popping in to say um, don't forget if you order my patterns before the 4th of December at midnight you can get 10% off. Uh, that's both for the Soundwave cowl and for the Jolly Jingle socks so 10% off. So because I've been working on samples for the pattern I thought I would dig out some of my project bags that I haven't touched for a little while because I've been too busy walk working on the patterns and I really want to pick these projects up again so a couple of these are quite big projects so this is the Ziggy Interrupted wrap um, by Sandra Paul I'm sorry about the light guys because it's um, actually dark now by four o'clock um, it's already four o'clock and it's it's not brilliant light so I normally have extra light coming from this window um, so that you can see it but these are sort of shades of purple that I picked when I went to Fibre East. I will leave a list of the yarns that I used in the description bar down below if you are interested. As I'm not going through these projects, um, like the progress I've done, I won't talk about each of them because there's four different yarns on there. So I'm gonna go back to that one. I'm just over halfway on that project. So that is my Ziggy Interrupted by Sandra Paul. I have only done like three quarters, well, not even three quarters, half a sock. Um, 
that I'd been working on a little while ago. So these are the Dennis Fug socks by Nicola Susan and I started these a little while ago and I don't know why I finished actually. It's probably just because I was doing the advent patterns that I needed to get on with. Um, but they were, they've been a fun knit as well so I'll have to get back to those. So that is my second project bag. I should actually show you what project bag I've got them in. This first one is one of um, my own project bags and it's got this gorgeous blue fabric. The sock project is in and, and a lovely bag I got from Caroline Loves to Sew. So there's that one. And then the final bag that I've got to show you are things that I've got sort of ongoing. These don't include blankets, I'm afraid. So there are blankets as well. <laughs> <laughs> is my um, Twists and Turns by Stephen West. I have done a few rows on this this week actually since I finished um, the cowls um, so I'm hoping to get back to this and these are some of my own hand dyed yarns as well. I, again I'll leave links to those in the description bar down below. But I'm using a lovely bag that was gifted to me my, by my friend Sokan Jo. Um, she, I think she sent this to me. I can't even remember what whether it was birthday or just a random gift but isn't that a lovely bag with this beautiful gold detail so um, those are the bags I've got on the go at the moment I will have to show you my blanket whips in the vlogmas videos I think um, so watch out for vlogmas starting from tomorrow obviously day one is on day two because it's uploaded the day after it's recorded and i'm currently recording little clips throughout the day today today has been a mad day though so i'm not quite sure whether i'll have that much to show for day one um we shall see though i always end up with more clips than i think so now i have my gadget confession section so it's even though it's gadget as well it's still confession <laughs> <laughs> so this is the box so my friend at quilt group had got these on and she came up to me she said ellie i was wearing my old sort of white ones um she said ellie these are so much more comfortable and they're rechargeable as well the light so with my white ones that i normally use that needs a battery for the light on the top so i don't use the light on the top i just take the batteries out because they're too heavy across the bridge of my nose but these the batteries in the side panels here i think so let me get one of the lenses out i haven't actually used it yet uh, i'll use this one so there are a number of lenses that come uh, with the headset and you stick the the lenses in like this you can pop them over your glasses but there's a button ah there we go button at the side for the light and then you press it twice and it gets brighter how good is that gosh i look sexy don't i <laughs> so i'm excited to try those out they do look a little bit crazy being so wide on the side but i'm hoping that they'll be much better they do feel a little bit lighter than the other ones and hopefully that light will be working a bit better there is like a rubbery elastic thing to go around the back of the um, the glasses so that they stay on. So I shall let you know how I get on with those. I want to do some English paper piece in this week. Um, I did start um, making the lids to my box um, just there, but I haven't finished it yet. So we'll see if I can get on with that this week. So that is my gadget confessions for this week. But I have shop update next. There are a few things I wanted to show you, some of which haven't actually arrived yet, but I know they're on their way and they will be arriving tomorrow. So I'm still going to have them in the shop update tomorrow. So first of all, I'm going to show you the yarns that I've got going in the shop. So I've got three new Christmas colorways. This one is going to be a red. And if you want it as a sock set, you can have the white contrast as well. And that's going to be fairy tale in New York. And that is just like a sort of Christmassy red color because um, I thought it'd be nice to have um, a nice sort of plain Christmassy colour to do the new Jolly Jingle socks with so that's why I dyed that. My second colourway is this one and this is now, this is a merino with no nylon actually but it's got acrylic neps in there and this one is going to be called Christmas is All Around and that's named after the song from Love Actually. Um, I just thought that fitted in nicely especially with those neps a little bit like snow. And this third colourway is Frosty the Snowman and we've got different shades of blue splashes there with a contrast of a navy. I think that's nice. 
so that one is also subtly Christmassy not too in your face so those are my Christmas colorways that are going in the shop tomorrow at 7 p.m. GMT um, but there is there are a number of other Christmas colorways from past years that are still in the shop so if you want to order those I do dye them to order so it can take me a few days to dye them and ship them so do the bear that in mind um, when you are ordering sort of in the on the run-up to Christmas I have a list of last ordering dates for Christmas on my website just to give you an idea of sort of post last postage times but taking into account a few days um, for me to sort of dye up or make things if you ha if you are ordering something that's just ready to ship that should go the same day um, so that is all the things that I've got to show you in physical person but I do have a few things that I'm going to go in the shop tomorrow that I haven't got yet so I thought I'd talk about them so I do normally do these blockers um, to block garments and knitted items out um, and these come in white and rainbow but I've now ordered some blue ones that are in the mindful collection range so now they're in like a nice turquoise blue so in another colorway which is always good so those are going to be in the shop tomorrow I have have got my hands on some project bags and knit pro ones with spaces for sort of needles and things and I picked a few that I really liked so a few of those are going to go in the shop I will pop some pictures up here so that you can see what they look like um, if they don't sell out completely I'll show you on the podcast next week but if you watch out on my website at 7 p.m. GMT tomorrow um, or have a look on Instagram you'll see photographs I saw that Knit Pro do some folding scissors so I've ordered some of those and some wooden tape measures that are also the Mindful collection which are a nice sort of blue colour which I like and that range also does some darning needles so I've ordered some of those and they're wooden ones which are unusual so I stock quite a few darning needles already but these ones are wood so I thought they're a little bit different I'll have those in the shop <laughs> basically I just order the things that I want don't forget this weekend is the last weekend to order any yarn clubs for December so make sure that you order yours now they'll be available until Monday that's all the things that are going to go in the shop but I do have a little appearance from Jensen so over to you Jensen hi Jensen how you doing <laughs> you've got a new um, set of like bowling balls and pins which he likes to hit together. So today he's got he's got the tin can knits um, playdate cardigan on again, um, <laughs> but I couldn't bring myself to change him because he's already had it on earlier. Um, so he's nice and cosy in it, and he's got a pair of jeans and a Grogu t-shirt on to make a, to make him look like a big boy. You look all grown up, don't you, Jensen? Yeah, he's actually trying to watch the telly but we've paused it and he's wondering why it's off. <laughs> yeah. um, thank you very much Jensen and we'll see you later in Vlogmas, won't we? So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more and I shall see you in next week's podcast or in Vlogmas if you watch that. Bye!